Hi! In this video, I will talk about some of our new products we have on madamsaw.com. And those are the spool huggers, the bobbin holders, and the bobbin clamps. This is a spool hugger, uh, which prevents the spool from unwinding. The bobbin clamp does the same for your bobbins. The bobbin holder, which goes in like this. Make sure your spool is combined with the right bobbin. It keeps them together. And here you have a combination of all three. The hugger, the clamp and the holder. Here is my portable organizer, which has some pegs for the spools. And I have like 60 spools for the moment, so I put the ones with the good Trident Keeper in my wooden sewing cabinet, this one. And what always surprises me is how both can end up this disorganized before even using a lot of spools. Even in my organizer with the pegs, the spools decide on their own to unwind. And so my spool collection always ends up in this tangle of threads, which is very, very frustrating. The same happens, and in fact it's even more stressful if I use my little bag for going to my sewing class. I quickly put away all the material I need in a little bag and when I arrive in class, that's like 15 minutes later, my little bag is often a total mess. I'm really excited that I found these huggers, clamps and holders for my spools and bobbins. The huggers fit really all kinds of spools, all types, higher ones, smaller ones, just the really, 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 really thin ones like this one don't work. And the bigger ones, even the one that I use for my serger, works just fine. And if you take it off, it goes back to shape like it was before and you can use it on another spool. The holder fits most spools, but some spools, which are not that high, um, you can put in the holder, but it doesn't go in until the end, but it still does the trick, so it works, even with a smaller one. The clamps fit all bobbins, they're standard, but you can even use them on thinner spools. If the bobbin holder is too big for the spool, like this, you can put on a clamp. My spool organizer and the compartment in my sewing cabinet look a lot more organized. I don't lose time unraveling the web of threads and apparently it also has an impact on the quality of your thread if it gets tangled a lot. For my organizer I just use the huggers and the clamps for the bobbins but I don't put them together because one, it is too high to close the box and two, um, if you put the spool on a peg, it pushes out the holder. In my sewing cabinet I put all the spools with their own thread end holder and for the ones I have a matching bobbin, I use the holder and the clamp for the bobbin. When I go to my sewing class I just put in the spools like this or I use all three matching bobbin holder and the hugger and, or I just use the clamp and the holder for the ones with a good thread and hold. So I think these new tools are wonderful and if you're looking for some tangle free storage or a way to move around your stuff in a really organized way I think this might work for you. You can buy all three types separately, so I hope with this video you can decide what works best for you. Bye!